Hello and welcome to the Astrology and Spirituality Show with Elisa and Patrick Arundel for Tuesday the 26th of January. Uranus is very influential today. On one hand it forges a bright link with the moon which pushes us to do something different on the home front, perhaps move all the furniture around, declutter, uh, perhaps get in contact with a relative we haven't spoken to for a while. But at the other end of the spectrum, the sun's in a, a grinding, much more tension building a right angle with Uranus. And the sun is in the sign of Aquarius, the moon in its home zone of Cancer. So what does this suggest to us? Well, I think uh, Uranus isn't at its best in the sign of Taurus. So if we resist making some changes at the moment, I think it can create some tensions but the sun in the far-sighted sign of Aquarius is asking us to think about the future and perhaps uh, we do need to think about how that future affects our immediate environment so some changes we make can actually be good for us even if it seems like we have to push ourselves a little bit to actually find the spark to do them. Elisa, what cards have you chosen today? Today we are using the Dragon Path Oracle cards. Is this new? Yeah, these are the ones that my mum got for my birthday. Oh, brilliant. We've not used these before? We've used them once, I oh, think. Okay. So I thought we'd get them out again. So give them a little shuffle and see what comes up. Yeah, I love them. They're really fiery and really beautiful. Okay, wow. The word on this card says destiny and it's a really powerful looking card. I think that, you know, this idea of destiny, um, I think many of us have different ideas on what our life path is. Some of us believe we've got total free will that we're making That's our journey point. up as we go along. Other people believe that there is so preordained, pre you know, end point and beginning point. Um, for me, it's a mixture of both. I think I've spoken before about uh, my view on thinking that, that the astrology for me is kind of like our, you know, blueprint or program, but we can work with uh, those tools that we've been born with. So for me, it is a bit of both, but this idea of destiny, the words that spring to mind are a bit, um, maybe a little bit cliche, but the words sort of like life purpose or life goal comes uh, to mind thinking about that. Our full potential basically, and our full potential for me is doing something that we, we care about. Um, we hear this thing like, oh, do what you love, but even if we have our dream job, there will be times in that job that we don't like it, or there's elements of that job that is difficult, and um, there's nothing that's 100%, you know, perfect, but it's finding something that we, and it's not just our careers, it's just our lives in general, what is it that makes us tick, what is it that we're striving um, towards what do we in, enjoy and really go in for those things I think when this card comes no, up. That's lovely. A couple of jokes came up here. Do you think the average priest thinks that their career is preordained? That was a pretty bad one. Before. Then I was talking to one of the builders who's been helping us on the job today uh, uh, and uh, uh, the changes we've been making at home and uh, he said no you can take the rubbish no I said I always get the rubbish jobs <laughs> so, that's pretty poor did as well did you get a it? laugh out of I did actually get Good. a laugh out of him <laughs> then I told him a very very naughty joke which, which we can't with. be repeated here but will you tell me later uh, I've told you before oh, okay. tell me later you, who did you sound like then <laughs> tell me later <laughs> oh, you sound like Sven Goran Eriksson <laughs> Damn you later. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, I really agree with you. I think it is a mixture. I don't think, you know, we do, like with the astrology, there is a form of astrology called draconic astrology, which mm. moves the north node That's back. the dragon. That's yeah. the dragon. Yeah. Go with the dragon cards. Yeah. And uh, it moves the north node to nought degrees Aries, which is the vernal point. Now, for some people... Uh, they would have the north node very close so they would it said that their purpose is very pure jesus christ for example had the north node just in pisces i think just before the vernal point but for many of us I, it actually does change our chart quite a bit and for example in my chart the sun moves into gemini from aquarius and where does the sun move for you 
Do you know, I can't actually remember. It moves from... No, of course we know what it moves to. It moves to Aquarius. Oh, of course it does. Yeah. <laughs> da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Yeah, that's like... Yeah. Another so, reason we get along. So that's sole purpose. Yeah. And the idea is that uh, that's what we bring into this world and that defines our sort of more emotional journey. But the natal chart is the fruits of that journey. So it's working towards our potential. Mm. But I agree with you. I think we do have a degree of free will. A lot of people have difficult aspects in their chart and still make a great success of their lives in some way. Other people have really easy peasy charts and don't ever find the spark to do anything with it. So, mm, yeah, yeah, it is a mixture. I definitely agree with that. Yeah, so. Please share what you feel about destiny. Do you feel that your life was pre-ordained, predestined, or do you feel that you've actually grown a lot from how you came into the world do you feel that you've learned a lot about yourself perhaps through astrology and actually has helped you to evolve but mm. if you'd like to check out your free daily horoscope please do so below i must stress that i did used to write uh jokes for lenny henry um in a past life but hey no longer <laughs> i'm no longer in the, the white house I've gone. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing golf <laughs> Hello. you've gone all the time yeah, no, I can't. I have to find it someone else to take on. I don't think well, I can do that's Biden. A, that's a joke from you because you've done nothing but Trump for months. I know. I really but like just, weirdly just, been channeling him. Just freeze up when you're on here. I'm like, hey, you know, I can't do it. Well, on maybe you can. Maybe the same. Maybe, same maybe the, then you went Sven Joran Eriksson again. Sven Joran. Who's Sven Joran? Is that a relation to Sven Goran Eriksson? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the biggest football fan in the world. Well, yes, you're only about four foot two. Um, and on that note, Five foot one. Uh, it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Goodbye. goodbye.